Hi, and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. Okay, this is Mailbag, a uh, common feature of the channel. It's where I attempt to answer questions that you guys have left on the channel, or if I can't answer them, I have a good go at answering them, or I throw them out to the wider Tubin community to try and answer on behalf of somebody who's raised the question. Now, we'll get into this mailbag. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. The next question struck comment comes from Tortog. And this is uh, in response to Nautilus Shoppers Please Note, a video I did in August 2021. And Tortog writes, I was going to place my order for a Kronos after a quite a bit of comparing Montage, Modiex and Kronos, but I had some trouble getting back to my salesperson and had things to do, so I thought I'd order next week. Two days later, Nautilus was announced. So I put my buy-in on hold and ended up spending months factoring in Nautilus into my comparison. I ended up buying a Kronos a couple of months ago and, and I'm really happy with it. Being an old guy, I'm not gigging, but I do like to move things around from time to time, so weight is a factor. Montage, I believe, is the heaviest of all three boards, all the boards I looked at. Uh, Modiex is light, but I, but I got to play the 88 many times, and the keyboard is crap to me, and it's supposed to be better than the 7 and the 6 keyboards, so the Modiex was bottom of my list because of the keyboard. Yamaha Sound and Kronos each have their strong suits. Um, but the Kronos just seems to fit my taste and I can deep dive into the sounds and tweak to my des heart's desire. As noted by some reviews, the Kronos is like a recording studio inside a keyboard. Oh, I've lost my place. Uh, so the workflow on each comes down to personal taste and the type of situations you're planning to use them in. And I completely agree with that. I really do. Uh, price of the Modi X is about half of the Montage, and two are about 80% similar electronics. The Nautilus is about 30% less than the Kronos, but the same keybed. The Modi X out, out uh, decision was Montage or Kronos. A lot of differences are personal taste to my final tests, was who uses which. Of the keyboardists and composers that I admire, 14 of them were Kronos users, with Montage about four or five. So the decision made Kronos one, I ordered one. And after getting the Kronos, uh, the biggest eye opener, they weren't kidding about the learning curve. There is a lot to learn. Um, yes, Kronos is, if you've been in the Korg family, I think the concepts are very similar, but it's still a steep learning curve, I have to be honest. Um, and you're absolutely right about the learning curve. It's a big workstation and it can be daunting and you need to give it time. Um, but if you do, the results are stunning and amazing. And um, I do like your comment about the keyboard composers you admire and what they use. I was first alerted to, cut to Kronos because I was watching a video about Rick Waitman and he uses two of them in his keyboard rig or he did it at that point, I think he still does. Um, and that was about 10 years ago. So these are two of the original Kronoses. Although I think now he has an original Kronos and a Kronos 2 in his keyboard rig. Um, but he had all these key sounds programmed into it. And when he started playing parts from Journey to the Center of the Earth and the Six Wives, I was just, wow. And, and seriously, I was. I mean, uh, if you've ever seen Rick Wakeman in concert, especially when he does some of his, some of his stuff rather than some of Yes's stuff, um, you, he, he seriously can play. Um, <laughs> then I started looking at other pivotal acts. Another one uh, who I follow quite a lot is Jordan Rudis, 
who was playing an Oasis on the stage at this point. Um, and then when I saw him in concert a few years back, he was playing a Kronos 2. Uh, and he has Kronos's in his studio. In fact, Jordan Rudis has uh, never gets rid of the keyboard as far as I can see, he just builds a collection. Um, Tony Banks, Yanni, um, have all got Kronos's, although I think Yanni's on, on, on this touring rig at the moment is Chrome. Um, and you know him and Ming Freeman were playing Kronos's. They were you know they they cross fertilize each other, um, but it still took me four years to justify me buying a Kronos, um, and by which time I didn't buy the original Kronos, which is why I set out to buy a bought Kronos too. And I've never looked back. I have never looked back. I still think aesthetically it's the best looking Kronos, and I think from a tonal perspective, I have struggled to justify buying another keyboard or that ilk um, until Phantom came along. Next one comes from XP50 player. In response to Nautilus shoppers, please note a video I did in August 2021. This got a lot of comments. Um, an XP50 player writes, Nautilus has lost has not lost any polyphony and it has all nine synth engines from the Kronos. And it's still a full audio MIDI workstation. So it has that over the Modi X. Set list mode on the Korgs is industry leading as well. Nautilus has some new sample libraries unavailable for the Kronos and four times simple arpeggiators in lieu of Karma. It's probably the biggest difference between Nautilus and Kronos is the fact they've changed how the whole um, drum uh, system works and it's simplified a Nautilus from what Karma was. Karma was very complex but the, the results from Karma are stunning um, and that may be preferable for some buyers. And again, you know, another commentator on the channel making some really good points and if you ignore the question that sparked this uh, Yamaha Modi X versus called Kronos. I've always said the Kronos stays uh, even though it has been around for 10 years. Um, the Nautilus just feels like a, a sideways step for me at the moment. I don't really think you um, you get much more with Nautilus than you've got with Kronos apart from you know slightly redefined interface and a slightly redefined workflow. Um, and the big change being Karma, of course. But personally, you know, it does feel like a cyber step and I am waiting um, for Korg to announce what is the next big board to take on Phantom. 